St. Pat's were playing for the first time since their exit from the Europa League and they were quickly into their stride. Jamie McGrath won this free kick, which Killian Brennan stepped up to take. But Brennan could not keep it down enough, much to the relief of draw the goalkeeper Michal Schlingerman. Drada started to come more into the game and Sean Thornton's clever ball released Tiernan Mulvena who had as much time as he wanted to steady himself for a shot but the finish was not quite what he or Drada manager John McDonnell wanted. St. Pats were pushing for the breakthrough goal with Brennan heading into the Drada penalty area after a 1-2 with Ian Birmingham when he hit the ground under Adam Whelan's challenge. Referee Rob Rogers was perfectly placed to see the incident and quickly pointed to the spot. Brennan took the responsibility on with the kick, but Schlingemann guessed right to keep out the effort. The former Bohemians player might feel he could have hit the ball better, while Chris Forrester will have been disappointed with his follow-up. Brennan was involved in many of the key incidents in the game, and here he is setting Jero O'Brien free down the visitors' right after the break. The captain cut in to unload a dipping shot that Schlingemann managed to get a touch on before Alan Byrne was able to finally clear the danger. O'Brien was left to ponder what might have been if Schlingemann had not intervened. But from Conan Byrne's corner, Schlingemann was powerless to prevent St. Pat's from going ahead. Drogheda native Brennan rose unchallenged to plant the ball into the net from six yards in the 75th minute. After getting the breakthrough goal, Brennan was back helping to dispossess Robert O'Reilly. O'Brien launched the ball forward for Morgan Langley and as the Drogheda defence was caught out, the substitute was able to break clear and take it on into lots of space. And he looked up to unselfishly square for McGrath to roll the ball into the open goal and seal the points for the delighted St. Pat's fans who had made the trip to the northeast. So a fifth win in a row for St. Pat's to boost their hopes of a top three finish as Drada continued to battle to move out of the bottom half of the table. It ended Drada United nil, St. Pat's is letting two. Happy enough with the performance, but. Just a little bit more quality in front of goal in the first half. I think we two brilliant chances to go, maybe one or two nil up. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to dust down and get on with it again. I thought we've kept the ball quite well, we've created quite a few chances as well. But the missed penalty sort of knocked us back a little bit. But um, overall, I thought the lads have worked really hard. Well, no doubt the absence of Lee Duffy through suspension was a big loss for Drogheda United on the night, given his recent form. And uh, Damien, you felt on the evening it might have been a very different game had Drogheda United taken their early chances. When you're at the top half of the table, Peter, you can afford to miss chances because you know you, get, you keep creating them. When you're at the bottom half, you can't afford to miss chances of this nature. It's a brilliant run from the lad, great ball through to him. He has loads and loads of time, probably too much time. Look at him, look, he's not decisive enough. He's not confident enough. And had he scored that, it would have put his team in a very, very good position because he was sitting deep to a very, very hard to get past and that would have given him a big fill-up. But unfortunately, they missed a very, very good chance. Yeah, and they were let off the hook a bit by Killian Brennan's missed penalty. We know he's very effective from set pieces, mm. but uh, he, he kept plugging away throughout the game, didn't he? Yes, he, 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 they can miss penalties because you know they've got players who can still do something. He took all the corner kicks early on, his one here, all out swingers, you know, keepers can deal with those. His corner born an in swinger, and Killian Brennan, because he's been taking the corners, he's not actually picked up. He takes, see him all on his own there, he takes the draw defenders by surprise. That is a lack of organisation, and that's on the player's perspective. They've got to be able to adjust to that. Who's picking up a keeper? Who's picking up? Who's picking up? Shouldn't be anybody spare. Manager can't do that because it changed a tactic by Pats. Clever, if you like, and it worked very, very well and changed the game. Alan, as far as St. Patrick's Athletic are concerned, uh, are they out of the race for the title now, but they could still have an effect on the destination of the title? Yeah, I think that's probably a better way of phrasing it, Peter. They're 13 points behind. I said a few weeks ago they're out of it, so I can't say now they're back in. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's their fifth consecutive win in the league. You know, they're in great form. They really are. And I'm a huge admirer of Pats. I have been for the last two years. I love the brand of football they played. They've yeah. some brilliant players, as we know, technically. It was always just the consistency thing. But they seem to be getting that together now, as I say, with five wins on the trot. So if they're, if they're to keep that kind of form going, and as we said earlier, if, if Dundalk were to progress in the Champions League, who knows what kind of uh, distraction that could bring for them. So you just never know. But 13 points, it's, it's probably a better phrase that you use that they would, they'll, they'll have a say in who, where the title goes rather than them actually winning it. OK, Alan, thanks for the moment. Well, there was no denying, but he Bohemians' excellent.